Hi guys, and today we will add some logic in our Apex class that we have created in a previous video and connect our Apex class with the Visual Force page. So, uh, let's go to the Setup menu and uh, open it. And let's find our Apex class. Here it is. Open the link and we can see our first uh, Apex class here. Let's edit it. Okay, as you can see I have added uh, something here to this class and I will explain what is it. So it is a simple variable inside my class. Uh, public means that we can access this variable from outside uh, this class string means that it's text variable so it will uh, uh, contain some text and this get means that we will return hello my friends when somebody is accessing to this variable uh, and let's try to save it okay it's saved and there is no errors because if we made some errors here Salesforce will um, give us know about it like that but for sure we want to display this and we cannot display this variable if we uh, not connected to Visual Force page. So let's try to uh, find um, our pages and connect our Visual Force page with uh, Apex class. Open link pages. Okay, and edit our first page. Here is our um, empty page and uh, we should add word controller inside Apex page tag and controller it, it is our Apex class so let's copy Apex class name and put here and save it. Now our Apex class connected with this Visual Force page but if we open this Visual Force page we will see just empty page. As you can see nothing is here. Um, so if we want to um, to show our variable we should add it to this Visual Force page. But if we just add it like that, Salesforce will think that it's just text. It's not uh, an Apex variable. Let's try it. Quick save. And instead of our greetings, uh, we will see just this text. Okay, so just greetings and we expected that it will be hello my friends. It happened because Salesforce thought that it's just just simple text inside page. But we will let, he, let him know that it's variable. I hope you can see it well and when I'm doing uh, this Salesforce will understand that it's uh, Apex variable so let's save it and preview again and you can see now that here is hello my friends words uh, on our page and now we can make some change in our Apex class like let's left just hello and smile face save it 
and reload our page. You can see that it's changed. So uh, in this way we connected our Apex class to Visual Force page and displayed uh, our Apex variable on page. Uh, in the next video I will show you how to get in data from your uh, database in Salesforce and pass it through controller uh, and uh, Visual Force page. Bye.